Dude, all right, I do want to say this because Steve, you're you're an intelligent uh, racist, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but this World oh, War II yeah. video game that came out, the trailer they released for it. So it's Battlefield Five, and the trailer they released for it is like this British lady in the middle of World War II fighting, and she like gets shot and runs around. She's got a fake. She's got a prosthetic arm, and she's like. It's a robo arm. It's just a chick. And then, like, the cover art for the fucking... It's a World War II game. But, she, and it's, but it's like, a here's robot a chick. Arm? Well, so it's it's a, I'm not as hung up on the arm as much as I am some fucking broad in the middle of a fucking firefight. In, it's yeah. just like... Sure. What? But then uh, Dairy Queen, this, this guy who... He's just, a li- he's, liberal listener. He's a liberal... He's an edgy liberal. He's okay. a real edgy liberal. Yeah. Like he's not afraid to toss around some anti PC slurs, dude. Okay. <laughs> but uh he's I mean, he's edgy as fuck for a liberal. But he in in this fucking gamer thread, because he's heard me on here complain about it, there's this thread on the main board about E three, which is a video game convention, and he's like somebody said something about like it's amazing that people are complaining that there's female characters in this game. And then he was like, he's like, this, this guy has fucking meltdowns over this all the time talking about me. And like, I started to comment back on it and I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fall into this trap. But then this other guy was like, yeah, it's, it's not about social justice warriors. It's about the bottom line. It's like, they're just trying to make money because females are gamers too. And they want to be represented in the game. And then I looked it up and the stats are like gamers, 48% of gamers are female. But the study was counting like Candy Crush and like that as gaming. Yeah, it's like just be, it was just a, and shit. It was just a weird thing. Sure. And also I mean, I'm I'm losing what the fuck I'm trying to talk about here because this it does fucking annoy me and I don't yeah. want to come off as well, they skewed the snap. They, well they, they skewed, skewed the stats. Yeah, yeah. To make it be like, see, women love video games too. Yeah. It's like no they don't. They why why are count. we pretending that they do? Yeah. I don't get it. But then, anyway, there shouldn't be girls in World War II games. Right. What do you think of that? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, uh... That's... <laughs> what does it say something about it, Steve? Well, I... <laughs> say I smart, dude. What if I told you that the women... I'm more hung awesome. up about the robot arm. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, it's the robot arm is ridiculous. I, I said to Shane they had to give her a robot well, arm. Well, she... Now, the, the only now question I would ask fantasy is... fantasy aspect. Was yeah. there some sort of brigade of women, British women, that fought? And then would that no. make... It, okay, then... Well, dude, <laughs> and to get out of the... Even the, the... It's not even a... It's not even necessarily that it's a woman. It's like, remember when you played the Metal... Or not Metal, uh, Call of Duties... And it turned into like weird zombie apocalypse shit. Yeah, I know. That pissed yeah. me off. That was like, yeah, this sucks. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? Like when you're shooting, ro- I'm like, I don't want to shoot robots the whole time. So it's not even like it's a girl. It's like, it's just, just weird. Yeah, it's, and it's just preference. Like I wanted to play a realistic World War II video game. Mm-hmm. Not. You don't want a girl. I don't want to pretend, pretend world. Yeah. I want it to be, but then again, I mean, there's, there's holes all over this thing. It's well, a it's fucking, like, it's a video game and it's like. Yeah. I didn't but, have a problem with Nazi zombies, so it's weird to be like, there were no women on the front lines. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, what let's else? go back to weird shit you do. No, no, I, I, yeah, it's a tough one. So I mean, me I, addressing the haters, dude. Yeah, that's a tough one. I don't, I don't know how... If you don't like it, you don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, that's Thank fine. You. Thank it doesn't you. make you a Thank sexist you for wanting for it being to be a historically purist, accurate. purist, bro. I'm a fucking purist. Yeah, exactly. So that's fine. You're exactly right, Steven. It is fine. <laughs> What's that guy you should stop making fun of you, man? I wish that guy would stop online bullying me, too. Yeah. He should listen to our first lady, our gorgeous first lady. Is, is she on bullying right now? She was. I think she was anti-bullying, nice. which is funny because Trump daddy is the ultimate. Yeah, I mean... Dude, yeah, we're back to Trump, dude. Get I know, it going. I'm getting away. Now I'm back onto it. I'm reliving me uh, getting online shamed this past week. They were like... What's it like? They were saying I was threatened by women, which is why I didn't want. That's the best part. It's like, dude, I'm not threat. I'm not threatened by. There's, there's plenty of female video games. Yeah, I have no problem with that. I've, I'm not out here like Tomb Raider. That should be a fucking guy, dude. Yeah, Laura Croft. Or you're not like you don't see like I, that when I when you told me that yesterday. It's like I've never like seen a girl and been like, oh god, I gotta. I gotta I'm stop. threatened, like, dude. Like, she's coming. Workplace, she's coming to take all my power. Exactly. All the power dude. that I have. It's crazy. That's yeah. insane to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also like you're if they're the zombies that you don't like in the video game, you're not upset that there are female zombies. No. You're just upset about the zombies. Yeah, but see, here's with, another thing. Here's another thing. The zombie thing is a separate mode 
than the fucking game. Ah, uh, it's like a bonus that's, game. So it's like, here's the science fiction version of World War II. Right. Which is where the fucking women should be. Right. It's like, hey, here's pure <laughs> fiction about World War II. <laughs> right, right. But then again, again, you can punch holes in this all the time. Because then it's like, you're a World War II character. You're running around. You kill 900 fucking people. Oh. It's like, yeah. all right, well, that's ridiculous. But, uh. Still. Yeah, let's. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, you got to. Dude, I'm telling you. I, I told Shane this yesterday. I'm a big present moment guy, dude. I'm all mindfulness now. So yeah. like, I stay in the present moment. You whatever are. I Steve, just said. Put those hemorrhoids back down. Whatever I just said <laughs> 10 minutes ago is gone. Is gone. What I'm about to do in On the future, the don't even think about it. I'm, On to the next. I'm straight up. I'm in my, I've been in my Zen bag. I mean, I, I aspire to get there. I mean, but I'm, 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 stuck in the, I'm stuck in the. I'm stuck in the. Shane, if I even pass. catch myself mentally kind of inhabiting like the future or even the, mostly the future, I don't really dwell on the past. But I'm more of like a future head where I'll start being like, and then this is going to happen, and I'm going to do this, and then, and then, and then, and then, and I just go, literally, I just call for myself. Just, I'm just like, Matt, come back. And I just sit back, and I'm just like. <laughs> oh, I love that. Dude, and I just come back what to center. What do you mean you love that? I just Don't come fucking back, support Matt. this. Don't support this weird. I just come back to center, dude, and I'm, I'm just like this. And I'm like, all right, I'm just sitting in a chair right now. Everything's totally cool. I have all my food I need. I'm Whoa. warm. Totally fine. I actually th- almost tweeted over Memorial Day. To remember all the fallen digital soldiers that died, the female soldiers who died in video games, and I was just like, "Eh, I can't make fun of the vets." Dude. Did we talk about that last time? Uh, uh-uh. you just posted the, you oh just posted God, the dude. fucking that uh, fucking bothered me so the much. The video game with those girls busting those doors out, doors down, dude. So, Battlefield, Battlefield One, yeah, the cover of it was a black dude, <laughs> yeah, which acceptable, yeah, because black dudes fought. It was a guy from like the Harlem Hellfighters or whatever. Yeah, that's that, I'm down with that. Why? Why do you even say that's acceptable? Well, because if you're gonna make a, that's like making a fucking Civil War game and putting a black guy on the cover. Yeah, it's like uh, the number yeah. of people, everybody that fought in it was a white guy. Yeah, most. you found like one battalion. I think we got the Union started getting black guys towards the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying. But I know what like, you're saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's like here's the Battle of Gettysburg, and the yeah. cover of it's a black dude. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, right, right. yeah. That's I mean, interesting. Yeah, puts you in a weird spot. Well, you're you also a historian too, so that's you kind can't of really fucking argue it. But yeah. it's like, eh, well, dude. I mean, <clears throat> in a way, if you think about it, it's like, I mean, are, are they just going to start convincing over time that, like, you know, 30 years later, just convince little girls? Like, yeah, there was a lot of girls. Well, see, fighting that's the World weird War thing because then World War they Battlefield comes out with a World War II game. Yeah, and the trailer they released for it was a little wacky. It was just the, girls. The trailer was this chick, this apparently this British special forces uh-huh. chick with like a robotic arm. Yeah. And a sniper. I didn't know she had a robot arm. arm. She had like a hook arm. Oh really? Yeah. I'm it's... sure it was like a one in ten million thing that somebody had back then. But like I you to look into that. The hook arm lady from World War One. <laughs> <laughs> World War Two. This is World War Two. But it's like it's just nuts. Yeah, that was pretty well. She was like, I was watching her. She was, she was ass kicking. She was kicking down she doors. She got shot and then pops up and oh! jumps out a window. And yeah, it's like, yeah. That was wild. So they, now the cover of their World War II game is a fucking British lady with a hook arm. And then, and then someone's like, well, women fought in World War II. It's like, yeah, most of them were Soviet snipers and some pilots. Yeah. Do you know, you know the term, where, where the term suck it up comes from? From Your mom? Air, <laughs> shit, dude! You're Woo. gonna you're gonna say that to a dude on roids, dude? True, my bad, my bad. Holy shit! I almost flipped, I almost flipped I this table. Fuck! <laughs> I was so close to death. <laughs> the the uh, suck it up comes from I think World War II airline pilots was when they that was when they had those mat like the airline pilots? pilots. Yeah, like the, the fighter jet pilots. Sorry, <laughs> like the fighter the jet jets. Yeah, the World War II jets. They had jets back then, right? Did they? I'm pretty sure they did. World War II. No. When did they start fighter jets? Later. Okay. I so. mean, I, I, there was some early... This would be like somebody being like, yeah, women fought in World War II. So yeah, they didn't there have were some jets, but Okay, not so they really. didn't have them like that. I think the Germans were getting there. Whenever they started using jets and the guys would like have those oxygen masks on, like whatever that fucking movie's called, Top Gun or whatever, if sometimes the altitude would make guys throw up. So you'd throw up in that mask, but if you take it off, you're so high up, they don't, you're just breathing oh, in so poisonous you fumes. Up. You got to suck up your vomit, and then you can start breathing again. Oh, my God. How fucked up is that? Oh, my God. Because I, I heard the term sucking up to, and I'm like, that has well, to Well, they might have had os- uh, some oxygen in World War II. Well, either way, it comes yes. from whenever pilots started to get up so high that, like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So maybe, like, 1950, something, whatever. Whatever. That's but where yeah, sucking up comes from, dude. That's crazy. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Because I was looking, I heard sucked up. I was, I was watching a lot of Boy Meets World this weekend. And I saw, suck, they were saying you sucked up. And I was like, that's got to come from some weird sexual thing to like, just like sucking your elder's dick or something. I don't know. Well, suck it up and sucking up to someone. I know, they're totally two different, different. things. Yeah, but that's yeah, what yeah, led that's me to that wormhole. Yeah, yeah. Figuring things out. But I mean, dude, that's weird. The term sucking up, it's like, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> It's probably back when the Pope sat on a chair with his, <laughs> yes. with his dick hanging out the bottom. That was the vision I got of like someone just like looking up and just sucking an older person's dick and it's like, yo, stop sucking up, dude. Anyway, back to the fucking World War II <laughs> video game where they fucking bother me. <laughs> but it's like, I mean, it's just, you're right though that it gets to a point where, because people, I don't know, aren't that into history. As much as they are in yeah. the video games. Dude, I mean... And you keep putting out video games where it's like, hey, look at this diverse team of World War II fighters. Yeah. It's like, that's not... Why, why are we doing that? Well... Like, why, though? Yeah, I mean... It's weird because I've... My... And I think a lot of people's vision of history is just like what you can kind of scrap from pop culture. Is I, like, yeah, I have, like movies and video exactly, games. Exactly. I have a basic understanding of history. A little, because I, I listen to hardcore history, but like I have a pretty basic one. Yeah. But before that even, it was just, I've just scrapped together stuff I kind of heard and saw in movies. So it's like 20 years from now, you know, people do the same thing and they're like, no, there, there was, there's girls. Yeah. And you're like, where the fuck did like, you hear what, that? D-Day? Remember when all those chicks yeah. stormed the beaches? Yeah. Yeah, everybody remembers that. That's weird. But, uh, but yeah, whatever. Let, whatever. Let them get whatever. in on the glories of war, dude. No, dude, that's the white man's burden, <laughs> the glory of war. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, and then the, like the still shot for the trailer is like the four British teammates, mm-hmm. these four people, and it's like one black dude, one chick with her arm. Robo arm. Yeah. And then they, you think they put the like, robot, like the robot arm on just to be like, yo guys, this is I don't know, just to like it's make like, it more believable. <laughs> maybe. Like we'll give him a robot it's arm. It's like give him a robot arm so people are complaining about that. Yeah. Instead. But yeah. no, I, th- I guess it's more. It's like a real. It's like an edgy version of World War. It's like a steam, cyberpunk, it's like dude. Steampunk, yeah, weird. Cyberpunk, yeah. Dude. Ghost in the machine. Whatever. I'm over it, dude. You're like, I'm you, fucking bored. You feel you had three days to heal your wounds, dude. Yeah, I forgot about it. <laughs> dude, you I'll get tell me you. Going. I'll tell you what pissed me the fuck off, dude. Was uh, what was the thing I was tweet or I was talking to the Reddit board about about the guy from Arrested Development getting in trouble for yelling at a girl. Yeah. So there was like the, the dad from Arrested Development who's always in jail apparently said inappropriate things on a different set. It was inappropriate. And then on this other set yelled at this other girl, this actress on Arrested Development on the show. And during an interview, the lady was like, he like yelled at me. He like a couple times raised his voice. Like he was being like mean to me basically. Like it was yeah. not being nice. And uh, Jason Bateman offered like, hey, well, we all kind of in the interview, like we all were kind of going at each other's throats. Things were said back and forth. Kind of saying like, it wasn't just this dude and everyone was like fuck him he's mansplaining her situation but now they're saying that me too extends towards like any mistreatment of women based on their perceptions that's fucking weird dude no that's true what you better not you better not yell at a lady what if she dude she could have been yelling at him too bateman was no. kind of like bateman was like yeah we all kind of and he goes no Yo, Matt, this is a hard Matt, business you're so sexist all get the, time. the fuck out of here dude no that dude, I'm t- that pissed me since, off so this is bad. Women fought in World War II <laughs> and World War One. They had robo arms, and now they're trying to live. I mean, in a society where if they get yelled at, they they go to the news. That's insane, man. That's that's like how the old feminists in the '50s, like Camille Paglia, was trying to like have the right. I was talking to Spud about this. How the, just to like be able to be without a, a man's supervision in the '50s. It was like you didn't let your fucking girlfriend walk home by herself. It wasn't just some thing. You're like. It's kind of you gotta be yeah. like you're like literally actively defending off rapists, being like, "Get out of here, boys! Knock it off! Get out of here, boys! <laughs> yeah, the boys are coming Get out, out of here, Charlie! They're coming out from behind the bush, like ah, that's a fine broad there. Be a shame if someone so, like, raped you. They fought for the ability to like let us be ourselves and not be. We, we, I think the lady even said like we're fighting for the chance to even be raped, which is a fucked up thing for this lady oh, to say. Oh my god! You said this a long time ago. This is when like women burn their brows and shit. This was like the first wave of feminism, and if I. If that's not her quote, if I misquoted her, apologies, Camille. I that's thought that's a rough quote. That's we're a, fighting for the right. Well, to be we're raped. fighting for the right to just be on our own. You know what I mean? Like we don't, we just, you know, we don't want to be like sheltered so much. But the uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a fucked up quote for sure. <laughs> but if you can imagine, you know, if people kept telling you, being like all the time, like you're gonna get raped out there, you're gonna get raped out there, you need us to walk you places, and you're like, fuck you. Yeah, that was the know. patriarchy was like the mafia. 
Well, like, yeah, you back in protection. the 50s, you probably, when you talked locker room talk, you'd be like, yeah, I'd like to hold her down in the cornfield. You probably said, like, I'd like <laughs> to. Hold her down in the cornfield? <laughs> I'd like to get, sneak up on her. Yeah. That's probably how the boys were talking back then, dude. Locker room talk fucking 60 years ago was probably brutal. Locker room talk back then was probably nuts, dude. About black people and shit. Oh, my God. God. It was like crazy, dude. It was bad in the early 2000s when I was there. You got to give that. Trump played – he's 70 years old now. He played baseball, didn't he, in like college? Who knows? I think he played like pretty high level – like high school. He was elite. He was a good Trump baseball player. He was a great player. athlete. He held Either a way. soldier, too, at the military <laughs> academy. He was at the academy. He, he was, was, he was in the academy? Yeah, he was in the Was military. he? Yeah, he was an elite officer. Bullshit, really? He went to a school like that, not a, not a military academy. Okay. That's fucking crazy. He went to a military prep school. Though. I'm just trying to get in on his the locker room talk he's been in before. He's 70, and he's been in the locker room. That's the thing. He played baseball. He's been through the wars. That's crazy. My grandma, she was... If she fell like that back in the 50s, <laughs> somebody would have got her, dude. Someone would have been with My her. My instincts kicked in, though, when I was picking her up. I almost got her. <laughs> oh that's, just a, that's just a male instinct. If you see a woman down that can't get up, there's a party <laughs> that's like, ah, I got to get her. <laughs> I do. Uh, She's lucky she had that $2 bill. That's she true. Been in trouble. That was probably her emergency <laughs> stash to fend off highway rapists. bandits, dude. <laughs> Every seven year old lady probably has mad coins on her. That was the only way to fend yeah. off rapists back then. And be like, I'll give you this coin. That's exactly right. Holy shit, dude! You just cracked the code. I mean, that's an evil thing to do. For you know. I, I'm just still stuck on the idea of rapists having that voice, that old timey, like, ha, ah, <laughs> look at this broad. No one's around, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come here, sugar tits. <laughs> He's fucking. Yeah, man. I'm going to make you my girlfriend. <laughs> well, that was like the code of Hammurabi. I hear, I hear people quote the quote of Hammurabi, like trying on the SJW side. Being, it was like he's, he had a couple quotes that were like about whatever, about like the, the beauty of a children's mind. But he's also like, you know, if, if, you, if you rape, if you like kill someone's prostitute and like they'll take one of your eyes out or something because they're a slave. It's like it's just weird that people quote him on like woke well, ass People shit. quote the Bible. The Bible's the rule of the Bible is if you rape someone, that's your girlfriend in the Old Testament. Being like you rape someone, the punishment was that she became your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, in the Old Damn. Testament there was a rule. Someone was like they, that was like the first set of rules they tried figuring out. Like, all right, so if you rape Dude. someone, ah, that's your girlfriend forever. I'm pretty sure Borat wrote the Old Testament. <laughs> <laughs> if you rape her, she is your wife. <laughs> that was I remember seeing it in the Old Testament and being like, What the fuck kind of shit is that? That was like, hey man. Now you're going down. You're yeah, out in the fucking desert. You found you, you one. fucking attack some pussy. Now it's yours. Now you got to deal with that <laughs> for the rest of your life, now, dude. Now she's sitting next to you on the wagon, giving you advice. I mean, dude, it is like in your cart. She's like, turn here. I mean, like, that's, fuck, I should have never raped you. That's mind meltingly fucked up for this current time to like <laughs> to like pass that on and be like, well, this is what they did. But that's really what like the building. That's what we started from, dude. So I think we're doing pretty well. We're doing all right, dude. Yeah, that's the building blocks, dude. That was sure. that was level one. Level one. Was that wasn't a, even level. That, that was like was level like level. one thousand. That was a rough level. That was a tough one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So quit your bitching, ladies. No, but the Is whole that the point of this. No. no, no, no. <laughs> so, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Yeah, it's and the Gillette commercial is like I almost tweeted about it yesterday. Did you like, really? Because everybody's like, "Oh, sorry, you're offended by the Gillette commercial. What's wrong with you? Like, how fucking dumb are you?" It's like maybe they're not offended because it's maybe they're not defending toxic masculinity or whatever. Yeah. Maybe they're like, oh, this is a corporation monetizing social justice. Yeah, for sure. And it's corny as fuck. Maybe that's why they hate the ad. Dude, not you... because they want to be like, I should be able to bully and grab pussy and do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> I know, I'm a dude. man. It's like, no, maybe the, maybe they're just like, oh, this is phony as fuck. Yeah, they see through it's it. It's like the Pepsi commercial. It's a better version of that. It was. It's crazy. Dude, That that was like... Apparently, there was like marketers trying to figure out how to market to millennials, and they never, they couldn't figure it out. And I'm telling you, the way to do it is making them think they're part of like some sort of change. So if you can be like, you guys are changing the world, that's then they figured that out and they started running with that, and then they started seeing like the fallout and then all the how many of those things get retweeted from people being like, what the fuck is this bullshit? And yeah, dude. Meanwhile, Gillette's just like, yup. But it's weird it's that, that like, Obama <laughs> fucking game plan. Hope and change. True, yeah, true. It's like, let's unite the masses. Hope and change. And it's like, I'm going to deport more people than anyone ever. <laughs> I'm going to bomb more fucking... I wonder if Gillette was trying to, like, feel in some flack from the Dollar Shave Club. 
Dollar Shave Club is probably raking it in right now, too. For sure. Getting well, those fucking good old boys. It's just hilarious that it's like the fucking. Pretty uh, sick if the alt right starts going Dollar, Dollar Shave, Shave Club. Club, dude. Dollar Shave Club's like, no, 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 no. no I just no. wonder how like like political ideology has nothing to do with razor purchase. No, of course not. So it's like I don't even. I just like when like, I go man, buy, we ra- can do better. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It was just fucking weird to me, man. I don't like it's. Plus, like the guys, when it gets to that level of like a publicly traded company, like Gillette's probably part of some other conglomerate company uh, that sells Procter and Gamble. Procter I think. and Gamble. I think. These are dudes just sitting there. These are like Warren Buffett looking dudes just like holding a sheet of paper and just going yeah. like, all right, it looks good. And then there's these companies they hire to do like the advertising. And there's all these people like, wouldn't it be? Uh, and they pitch this thing. None of it means anything. And this yeah. guy's sitting there and after that commercial happened, they like check the numbers and like, huh, okay. Yeah. See cool. how that went. So we'll they either get, do it again or not. They get extra dividends. They're like, nice. Like it yeah. literally does nothing. I mean, it's also the same... The the billionaire CEOs that are running this and agreeing sure. with this, they were the same guys that when they were fifty, because now they're like fucking eighty. Yeah, we're we're the problem. Oh my god, <laughs> it's like, these dude. are the problem. <laughs> yeah, these guys are the whole thing that this movement is like. These guys are a fucking problem, and now they're harnessing that yeah. and like, yeah, buy more of our shit. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, crazy man. Yeah, man. Oh, that must be. They must be laughing so hard to just be like, no, it was those guys over there? <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. like, <laughs> we. <laughs> Oh, man. Shit. Bullying, bullying is the shit. Fuck Gillette, dude. Yeah, dude. Bullying is fucking bullying rad rocks. as fuck. Yeah, sorry to go over Gillette again. No, I don't give a fuck. I'll it give was a just f- bothering me because... It's crazy, dude. Like, the way that people are defending it just sucks. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, snowflakes. You can't handle getting, like... Like, people will post, like, tweets about, like, Gillette. Men can be better. Men. Shut the fuck up. Wah, wah. And it's like, that's not how it went. No, not at all. I mean, for some people, sure. And it's like, you guys want to play this game? I'll write a fucking commercial. We'll see who fucking cries. <laughs> I'll write a fucking what if, meme. What if Gillette did a commercial that was like, black guys. <laughs> <laughs> black dudes. You can do better. Oh, black, Gillette had a black people. You can do better commercial. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, my oh, God, man. Gillette needs to hit everyone, dude. If Gillette, G- if Gillette does that, I'll support it. If Gillette's like women. Muslims. Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Muslims, f- dude, if Gillette did an anti-Islam commercial. That would be funny if that was the one to get everyone on board, and then they just started yeah, going through the Yeah, and then it's the like, ranks. well, you were next. Oh, my God. Asians. This has <laughs> a dude in a minivan. <laughs> yeah. Learn how to fucking drive. <laughs> Gillette. <laughs> No, oh, but it's just some dude shaving like four hairs on his chin. <laughs> I got the muzzle or the the Asian facial hair, dude. I can't knock it. I don't have much far off from you it. You got dude. a sick goat going though. Yeah, that's true. It's, but that's all I can get is a natural. Didn't goat. you say you were growing it out for November or for? Uh, it said no shade. Like I was going to no pedo- shave. Pedophile, pedophile sh- January. Wait, what? <laughs> Did you say you're growing it out for pedophiles or something? No, I forget. <laughs> sex criminals. No. Grow said, out your goatee for oh, sex yeah, yeah. criminals. I was, I was to support gonna, sex criminals. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna keep. I was gonna not shave to support toxic. Ma- I was gonna support, uh, yeah, toxic masculinity, toxic masculinity, sexual yeah. assault. <gasps> what? <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> That's my goatee for, dude. dude. What this would the pirate flag? What dude. would the Gillette Muslim commercial be? Big some dude with a sword about to chop a reporter's head off and just being like some other guy like oh stop use that sword to shave bro (laughs) (laughs) someone just like holding a woman off a building and like do it hey Muslims we can do better oh dude we all can do better we can do better yeah dude I love the barbecue where the kids are fighting and it's all guys at grills like boys will be boys boys will be boys I told you man for some reason there's this weird cultural force to like make men more effeminate and women more masculine it's like why this isn't gonna go well it's not a good idea i'm yeah. not behind it so yeah, why yeah, would you yeah. do that i'm a gas stove dude you're gonna cook gas on me women are electric stoves they're we're geared for different shit dude yeah you're not gonna be like no actually i feel like uh, it's like you, it's, you can't do it dude yeah i could fuck my girlfriend up dude in a fight yeah if Gillette, yeah, dude, this is if bullshit. Gillette, Gillette's trying to stop you from beating the shit out of her, dude, fuck no Gillette, dude. fuck that, dude, rock her. I'm so much stronger. I go to the gym with her all the time. I see what weight she's doing. You fucking lay her out. I can do jump rope for three minutes straight, dude. She can't. She can't even cross the ropes. She's got a piece though, huh? She might put she you could, down. I worry about that sometimes. Oh yeah, I she would. could shoot my fucking God. ass, dude. She would walk too. Fuck yeah, hell yeah, dude. She'd shoot my ass and fucking laugh. Strong, independent woman. 
Yeah, for sure. Shoots white supremacists. They'd bring up clips from this podcast. Oh, I'd be fried, dude. Oof. <laughs> I'm not white supremacist. You would definitely walk. Yeah, you are. Look at that goat. You said you were going that goat for to support the boys in D.C. who harassed that Native American. <laughs> Matt lovingly refers to the boys from DC. No, I fucking He's don't. He's like those boys. Went I didn't down even there know about gave those that boys. engine. What for, dude? <laughs> gave that's, that. oh. that's so funny. They went and saw that guy, and they're like, "Hey, you get out of here, you yeah. fucking idiot!" And what's funny is some news place I think interviewed the Native American afterwards. Yeah, and he was like, "My people didn't want you guys here. We had a perfect culture." He yeah. like did this whole thing about like we respected elders. No, they didn't they used to fucking we, like push them off of cliffs yeah, and shit yeah, so dude. You, you put them on ice flows and push them out <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna lump all indians together yeah yeah it's funny he was like we solved our problems within there were no prisons before you came it's fucking... like yeah because you guys couldn't invent walls you had fucking t- <laughs> 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 you fucking also, tents, like, dude. you'd also just like fucking bury someone yeah up i doubt there was and... i doubt there was a lot of fucking fair trials back then either yeah dude sure it was fucking like I accuse him of this crime. Cut his fucking head off. Yeah, for sure. It was like tied to a tree, four hours in the head, and it's yeah. like, all right, we're out. So they they had like the whole thing. He figured had a out. speech figured out, but he I think he again, dude. This is a fucking Native American that like served in Vietnam. Really, he was the fucking man. Like, yeah, it, yeah. it's it's ridiculous that these kids did that. They for were sure. fucking gay. You got those be kids gay. suck. You have to be gay to do those that. kids. Fucking suck. Think they were gay for real? That's why they. But did it? if 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 I was, yeah, they're all gay. <laughs> Anybody from Covington Catholic, <laughs> Covington Catholic, I think is what it's called in uh, Kentucky. All That's gay. So fucking funny. But uh, you like abortion? You fucking savage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, the kid had the guy had nothing to do with abortion. I he know. was there because he was like a Vietnam vet. Yeah. Like Native American Vietnam vet. Yeah, they definitely That's did. what his whole thing was. What was his? What was he protesting? Oh, he was in the indigenous wall. I don't know. He was just chilling, man. Yeah, he was just fucking. He was just down there, just watching, balling out. He was just watching. But uh, yeah, it was funny to hear his speech afterwards. And, like somebody he, interviewed him. He had him. a fucking sick. He speech. had like a not really. It's just exactly what every single person who has no fucking idea about history thinks Native Americans were. Oh yeah, and we had no prisons before you came. Yeah, we were peaceful people. It's like, were you? Yeah. Were you peaceful? Yeah, that's such fucking... That's crazy, man. It's like, we were here first. It's like, who'd you run off the land? Yeah, exactly. Why don't you shut up? <laughs> I'm joining the boys, dude. <laughs> it's funny, because maybe they had this. The guys probably went up to him like, oh, hi, it's a Native American. Like, yeah. what are you doing, sir? And he's like, we did it. They're like, shut the fuck up, you <laughs> yeah, motherfucking yeah, grab, yeah. baby. Yeah, but no, it's a fucking smug kid smiling in a Native American's face while he's that wearing a MAGA sucks. hat. That it's sucks. a gay fucking look. If you're political, either way, Fuck. you fucking stink. I wish they could realize that, that they're just like the inverse of fucking like an SJW. Yeah. If you're walking around trying to like actively oppress Native Americans, you're an <laughs> SJW. You're the fucking, you're like, get them, yeah. boys. Yeah, you're the same thing. I was talking about that with Soder. It's like, Ugh. if you're from, like where I'm, like a, you're from a pretty yeah. Republican hometown sure. or like all that. Like if you're in a Republican hometown, you get called fucking gay. Yeah. If you're in a city, you get called a racist. Sure. It's the same fucking thing. Definitely. They're like, what are you, a pussy? And then you come to the city and they're like, what are you, fucking hate women? Yeah. It's, de- it's like no definitely. matter what, they, whatever they think the worst thing you can be is, that's who they call their political opponents. Well, that's their – you ever see the sign they put up in the city? It's like, oh, we love everyone, Muslims, yeah. homeless, women, trans. That's like the someone just hanging a sign that's like, don't yeah. be gay or like a Confederate flag. Yeah, it's the exact <laughs> same as some fucking gun shop in Mechanicsburg put yeah. a Confederate flag up. We love all women. Yeah, we love America, we love troops, Muslim. and our heritage. Yeah, exactly, dude. It's like, yeah, you guys all name things that are tough to be like, no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, it's all like, like back to that fucking Alexandria chick. Yep. Her, she'll tweet like, our country is too wealthy to have poor people in it. Yeah. It's like, all right, what do you want me? How do you want me to argue with that? Yeah. It's like, that's your political stance is you want to end poverty? Dude, I, I saw yes. the one guy's political stance yes. was literally that he didn't support cops no more shooting rape. young black kids. No more cops shooting young black kids. Yeah, no like, rape. No murder. No war. Yeah. It's like, yes. It's awesome. Please. Do it. Please. Well, that's my thing, too. It's like, to think, like, to think about... That's my political stance. I'm no rape, no, how you're about no rape, no murder, I'm no war. I'm all about no violence and no sure. bad. I'm a, I'm a, my platform is no more bad things. Utopia, dude. I want no bad things. Yeah, to you're happen. an you're an utopianist. Yeah, that's. Dude. I'm a eugenics utopianist. <laughs> utopianist. Why eugenics? I well, bad things. I don't just want to big get, ass dicks only. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna 
maintain a population of fat dicks, <laughs> thick butts, fat tits. <laughs> the thickest motherfuckers walking around. Dude. Thick roots only. So you're Farrakhan, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I... Um... I mean, it's going to be like when people are like, you know Hitler's mom was half Jewish? It's going to be like that with me. Oh. Once I create this master race, they're going to be like, do you know Shane actually had a small dick? <laughs> His whole population, he demanded fat dicks. Do you know his dick was actually small? Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be I, a topic of historians' debate, how thick my root was. Oh, for sure, dude. They're, apparently, they kept saying, <laughs> Daniels is saying, uh, Trump has like a supreme mushroom head. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said it's like he has like the most mushroomous tip anyone's that she's ever seen. And she's a porn star. That's sick. She's like, he's a weird dick and he knows it. He has like, she was saying like, it was like, it reminded her of Toadstool from Mario Kart. Wow. He's got such a mushroom head. That's because, you know, going back to your theory about plunging. Yeah. Trump comes from such a dynastic fucking DNA pool, <laughs> just such a dominant DNA pool that only the guys with the thickest plungers can be a Trump. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, that's fucking crazy. But, dude, that makes me laugh. The, the, what was her name? Alexandra Ocasio Cortez? Yeah, yeah. Sandy. Sandy? Yeah, she went, well, back before she was an SJW. She stripper? was her name. No, her name was fucking Sandy. Someone and... said, someone tried to put up a thing that she was a stripper before. Might have been propaganda. Definitely. Okay. Why'd you, why would you call herself Sandy? Because she was a white chick. Why'd you change her name to Alexandria? Well, her her name was always that, but they called her Sandy. Who did, dude? Her all oppressors? The fucking, all the oppressors she was friends with. What? All the colonizers she hung out with. Damn. And then she was like, oh, I can use my Hispanic name to my advantage. My, now, now my name up? is Alexandria Ortacio Cortez. It's like, oh, you mean Sandy? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Sandy? What did you see when... Uh... <laughs> I don't know anything when about her. When she does her thing. By the way, I want I want any gay listeners listening. I don't know shit. Um, actually, yeah. Whatever. She's actually really great. And what you're saying is actually like really fucked up. And, uh, the, uh, well, fuck you, Dairy Queen. What's, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what's funny is watching these these billionaires who like watch her. And they're just kind of like, people like, yeah, we're going to win. And they're just probably like, bah. <laughs> like yeah, 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 all right, yeah. dude. So, oh, you're going to take 70% of my, yeah, yeah. All right. yeah. yeah. It's like, okay. Come take it. Well, it's also funny that like, they all keep being like, we can do this. We can do, it's like, dude, we can hardly control ourselves. You know what I mean? It's like hard to like, dude, it's hard not to do shit or like hard to get, make yourself do stuff. If you multiply that times, what is it? Seven fucking billion people. Of course shit's fucked up, dude. You can't even control yourself. And you multiply that times a bunch of people. If you're like, well, let's just share this money. It's like, okay, people are still going to be wilding out, dude. Yeah, this, uh, oh my God. Uh, never mind. What? What'd she I say? I just sound like such a bitch for hating Why? this chick so much. I mean, dude. I don't even hate her that much because she does say things that I obviously agree with. Like, dude, I said, if she tax, if if they pass a seventy percent tax on the ultra rich, I'd be like, sweet, yeah, awesome, yeah, let's get it, give me that yeah. money, dude. And it's funny because it's a bunch then, of poor, a dude. bunch of poor people like me are like, those guys earned it. Let them keep I it. Know. I want to be a billionaire. <laughs> I want to be a billionaire one day. I have like two thousand dollars. I don't want people taking my seventy percent. I'm, like, I'm rich. Yeah, dude. That's uh. I don't want someone taking my... Dude, when I make my first bill, dude, I don't want someone taking fucking 70%. True. Once our fucking shit pops off, once the Patreon starts popping off and we're both billionaires, 